Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back with some more uh, Harry Potter or Hogwarts Legacy or whatever. Fuck right off, you bitch. Alright, last time we roughly were around here. Uh, did a couple of things and shit like that. We actually figured out how to do that thing. Wait. We didn't. What the fuck? Huh? I'm confused. We, we literally finished it. Oh well. I, su I suppose we gotta redo it. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. There we go. <coughs> Another one bites the dust. I mean, I suppose it's because I've used an auto save rather than the other one, uh, where I manually saved after this one. But either way, we are back and continuing on with Hogwarts Legacy. And if you like paid any attention to my tweets on Twitter, and then. Uh, then I suppose there is nothing else to really talk about other than the fact that uh, following content, regardless of what kind of uh, content it is, uh, it will be uh, recorded in more than uh, long, uh, well, longer sessions are happening anyways. But the overall messaging that I want to leave is with the fact that every episode starting from a couple of uh, videos ago that I have already rendered out and whatnot will be longer than 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, why am I doing that? Well, uh, basically a couple of reasons. It's gonna, going to allow me to play the game faster and get them done on a really quick sessions um, because I rather not spend a lot a lot of time when it comes to the uh, let's plays in general uh, uh, I want I would like to continue on moving on faster than admirably uh, uh, admirable or something like that um i i i would not rather spend a long time for the game um i know i'm actually directly off the path of the game's main missions but I would like to like discover a lot, uh, a lot more about Hogwarts Legacy than actually focus on primarily uh, side quests, main quests and stuff like that. While it could take a lot longer to complete any game in, the, in, in this particular uh, open world case. But it's going to make it a lot more sense. Because I'm able to finish the games as I want to and what not. So what oh, do we have to do here? Let's see. Uh, do I have to move them? Rebellion. Like what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Levioso. I suppose that's not for me to decide at the moment. I think it could be to way to lack of stuff. Oh, interesting. But let's look what's over here. Um, some scarecrow grow shit over here. 
When it comes to the games, uh, I'm relatively close. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Uh, to finishing one another game. Rebellion. Which is um, Tears of War. Well, I've I have finished the recording sessions for it and all of that sort of thing. But uh, we are we I'm I'm close. I'm getting really close to uploading that series for fun. Let's see what do we have to do here. Huh? Rebellion. The fuck. Oh, a bulldozer. Interesting. I have no idea what the fuck I'm uh, supposed to be doing with this. Is there a stronger one? Damage? <laughs> oh, I need to unlock that! Right! I'm gonna abuse this one. Uh, you know what? Uh, since we can't do much in around here... Hold on. What the fuck is this? What's this? Oh. Another one. I'm not gonna even lie. I'm actually really enjoying this uh, game. It's it's a fun game. It's a little bit different and fun game. Uh, that gives us h almost hundred. That's a downgrade. That's a downgrade. You know what? Let's uh, teleport back and uh, let's focus on uh, uh, the it's main like story a for a little a bit. Book. I do have to take a shit. Off on another adventure, are we? Let's head back to Hogwarts, uh, Hogsmeade now. Uh, let's head back to the old Wizarding World and uh, do the main story. And continue on with the main story. What the fuck is that? Beneath restrictive section. Uh, let's go here. I'll be right back. I need to really run to the bathroom and get my pooping order done and I'll be seeing you shortly
I sincerely apologize for this downtime, but I'm back. Uh, let's continue on. Um, oh, that feels a lot better. Anyhow, we are gonna do now a couple of more uh, main quests and the main storyline. Um, let's first off go over here. What are you up to now? Like that. The good thing about this game is basically you can just sit here and wait for the stuff to start. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. She's adorable. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Oh, that's screaming assholes. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> Muffins. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Shut the fuck up, you blips. Bruh. Imagine screaming like a fucking maniac. Envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket. Like the fuck. Putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. Good job, you repaired something. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Yours oh. was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone! Our glass is on top of that, and she now, will be super task, cute. We'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. Hmm. I wonder Hold if on, let me speak to this pelon. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Uh huh. Sup, you two. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I knew Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Well, I mean, no shit, sir. Look. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Weld potion. All right. As you all should Let's know. Well out. done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Weld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses out 
outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay, cool. Let's... Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. It Oh. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomp. Now, see that dummy? Just yeah, yeah, I do see him. They'll do the rest. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Yeah, no, shit's a lock. I'll see you back in class. Got them doofus. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Well, as long as I don't forget, sure. That shouldn't be a problem. Really relishing their new pots. Oh, Ever shut the fuck up. You sound annoying. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go to the new quest, I suppose. The one that we just unlocked. Ah, oh, we can go down there. Yeah. Wait, yeah. You garbage! The other girls and I were you motherfucking garbage! Oh, wait, wrong way. Wait, the fuck? Where am I, am I supposed to be going? Uh, potion glass. Okay. I did go wrong way. Wouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. 
The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Seems rather easy. What the fuck are you doing? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. <laughs> hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. It's a bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure uh -huh. to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. No. I don't know, Gareth. Fuck off. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Go beg someone else, you douchebag. Remember. Rebellion. A well prepared witch or wizard always. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. The fact that it only allowed you to do one of uh, these things, it's fucking stupid. I remember in uh, in the blood blood prints, if I half blood prints in that game, you were supposed to actually brew them yourself instead of this shit. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Oh, 
Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during the... <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. What a fucking idiot. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwopper feather. This time, that'll be all. In a world of constant evolution, where the line between man and machine begins to blur, a new age of possibility emerges. <laughs> <laughs>